Hey, what's going on this morning there, kids? Good looking morning out here. A little cloudy, though. I see some clouds floating by in the sky. And uh, it's not another <laughs> just beautiful morning. Nice and comfortable. And uh, yeah, we're going to take this today, huh? Hope you're going to have a uh, fine day in the works. Make it a good day, huh? Get inside here. Let's uh, take a look at the temp. I haven't looked at that again. It is, oh, 64 degrees on this uh, Wednesday, August 9th. <laughs> oh, yeah. Move it right along. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to share with you this morning from Jesus calling on this uh, ninth day of the month. Ma, here you go. Wear my robe of righteousness with ease. I custom made it for you to cover you from head to toe. The price I paid for this covering was astronomical. My own blood. You could never purchase such a royal garment, no matter how hard you worked. Sometimes you forget that my righteousness is a gift, and you feel ill at ease in your regal robe. I weep when I see you squirming under the velvety fabric, as if it were made of scratchy sackcloth. I want you to trust me enough to realize your privileged position in my kingdom. Relax in the luxuriant folds of your magnificent robe. Keep your eyes on me as you practice walking in this garment of salvation. When your behavior is unfitting for one in my kingdom, do not try to throw off your royal robe. Instead, throw off the unrighteous behavior. Then you will be able to feel at ease in this glorious garment, enjoying the gift I fashioned for you before the foundation of the world. That is Jesus calling this morning, the royal robe, everything that Christ covers us with in our life, all our abundant blessings, the graces and love that Jesus gives us every moment of every day. Just realize that, okay? Two-parter today, my friends. Another part here today, we're going to be talking about uh, being careful about certain things in your life. Deuteronomy chapter 11, but be careful. Don't let your heart be deceived so that you turn away from the Lord and serve and worship other gods. <clears throat> yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 11. You know, sometimes other gods can be what? <clears throat> our possessions, huh? If we grasp and value our possessions more than others, such as our family and God, uh, we then allow our possessions to control us. Huh. Has that happened to you? Hmm. Value others over possessions, okay? A good barometer uh, could be to ask yourself if you would let others borrow your stuff. Well, would you? If the answer is no, then you may want to reconsider owning it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Possessions. Be careful. Think about that one. Read that one. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Being careful with the possessions. And, and how we treat others, okay? Hey, speaking of treating others, let's pray for each other today, all right? Making an excellent day. Give that smile away today and know that God loves you and so do I.